welcome to my studio. Come this way, follow me. <laughs> This is a great opportunity to just take a sneak peek at my studio. I can't promise that it's tidy tidy, but come on in. This, this is my uh, place where I actually do my research, my documentation, Skype or Zoom with my mentor, Anthony Guachulis, who's a master, and every other Sunday I'm on here numerous other very very talented artists so this is just set up with my documents over here my four blocks that record all the information I need for each painting so here we have a portion of my collection of still life objects and I've got shells skulls lots of shells and love seashells and insects and I bought this on Amazon, which gives me a good reference. But I also have friends that save insects for me, and they bring them over and say, here's some beetles, Lori. <laughs> and um, I just, I love to add those to a narrative in my painting. Uh, I just find them very interesting. And also up here, we have a painting called Paper Taper Grapes, and this insect is uh, trying to get the viewers to decide what's this insect going towards. And books, and a book press, and just things that I have over here. And then when we work over here, I do love silver, and we'll see more of my collection. But feathers, and especially tarnished silver, I really enjoy. And I've got a bird that hit my window, and I went and had him stuffed immediately. And this really gives me some good information for bird wing structure that I need for paintings. Well, welcome. This is, we're in the great room right now, and this is where I keep my tarnished silver. And some of my favorite pieces really have good tarnished texture on them. And I, of course, have feathers in here in case I need a feather for a still life. Um, lots of interesting pieces. Um, one of my favorite pieces is this one. It's called uh, Britannia. And it's a metal that has an alloy in it called antimony. So I'll show you a painting that I just completed that has symbols of antimony on a book spine. So this is a painting uh, called Britannia that I was just talking about. And it's from uh, Britain. And if you, see, you can see the spine on here, it's kind of dark in here, but it has a symbol of antimony and the number 51, which is also a symbol of antimony. And um, there's a little bug here. And I had so much fun painting the, the metal in this piece. So this is where I actually paint. It's kind of a, a collection of uh, a plein air uh, easel that the legs have been taken off and it really fits nicely on the table. I have a yard stick up here that I can pull down as a mall stick. And, or I have one that was just made for me by a friend, which I really like too. Um, and I have these little tabs here that uh, are adhesive that I can put brushes that I'm currently working on in here. And this is a painting uh, that's under progress called Smokin' and Jokin'. And of course it's got antique things that I've collected over time. And it's just a fun piece. I really liked painting this. And it needs uh, two more layers. this table I also have a little a, a bookshelf that contains things I need and use all the time. I can easily, they're labeled pencils, erasers, tape, stencils, that type of thing I can get to right away while I'm painting. Um, these little um, makeup stands for brushes I use to put my uh, current brushes on that I'm working with and I try to keep the other ones protected so they don't get lint and dust on them because that's a no-no. Also, these lights I got on Amazon, and I love them, they're clip-on, and it, they re I can remove them, and when I'm doing a workshop, I can take them with me for my students or for myself, I love those. So come on over here and look, here's my palette. I bought this at an antique store, it's a little tea cart, and it fits perfectly with the palette. I can put my current pigments here. I've got my OMS, a little teeny jar of that, because I keep it covered, I only use it sparingly. Got my pliers, sweater, everything I really need, but more brushes, and I um, mix my paints 
normally with a string of pigments, so I have my colors prepared. And then I also have this box over here that has pigments I'm using currently. Collections everywhere, still collections of white porcelain on this beautiful antique cast iron fireplace I found at an antique store in Kentucky. And I just love that it. it really kind of warms up this room uh, a little bit. So I love our deco. I have some things here and just, you know, you can't have enough space. I've used every inch of space here, but I hope you have enjoyed a little insight on a peek into how I paint and where I'm painting and what inspires me. Thank you.